So here we are at the second pyramid or Cafres pyramid on the Giza plateau. This is actually the taller one. It's because the ground beneath it is taller than the area of the Great Pyramid. So here we have the northeast corner. And what's really interesting about this, as you can see here, is that this is kind of going into the ground. It's like a whole megalithic complex, yeah? Kind of going deep into the ground because it slopes down towards the northeast. Whereas on the other side, they kind of had to, the bedrock was actually higher up. And so they actually built on top of that. So this is one of the most megalithic areas that people don't realize on the Giza Plateau. So today, let's have a good look at this because this is a really interesting part of the Giza complex. So you can see the size of some of these stones here, but these go way, way back. These go all the way over to the area of the pyramid. Look at the size of these, absolutely amazing. So these are very badly weathered as well. Look at these. So these, what I'm walking on now, it's possibly part of a block that is literally hundreds of tons. You see all this here? This is like, like a gigantic platform spreading over a huge distance. This is absolutely mind-blowing when you think about it. This whole area here is all raised up, constructed, before you've even thought about building this thing. So there we have the Great Pyramid as viewed from the giant platforms just to the northeast of the second pyramid. And look, this whole raised area here is actually just a gigantic megalithic complex. Look at all this here. People don't realize this. This isn't just the bedrock. This is all constructed, this whole area that we're all walking on, where all these people are here and down over there as well where you can see where it goes down. And we'll also see, just around the edge here, granite blocks. So it's thought that lower the levels were pure granite. So look at the size of these blocks we just walked on here. You can see the people walking over it. We even got polygonal corners here. And one of these blocks here is 170 tons at least and this is just the platform before the pyramid has even been constructed and here we have the granite with JJ looking awesome so this proves that there were lower levels around the whole pyramid that were made of granite Yeah, it looks like they've tried to split this, doesn't it? Yeah. So this is one of the casing stones. We have the limestone as well. But look at this. This is all the kind of red and black granite that would have been the first two levels at least of the pyramid here. Then you have these gigantic stones. These are the limestone blocks, which are like 20 feet long, some of them at least. So these are multiple tons. These are slightly bigger than the ones we find in the Great Pyramid. So I'm pretty blown away by this already. We're seeing this platform is absolutely mind-blowing. Uh, we're walking on it now, and some of these stones are at least, what, six feet thick? Some of them are more than that. Some of them are like 12 feet thick, as we saw in the lower levels of the kind of corner platform. But one of these stones weighs a staggering 170 tons. So that's just, and this wouldn't have been seen. This would have all been hidden. This would have just to be walked about on. This is not even part of the main structure here at the second pyramid or Cafres pyramid here on the Giza Plateau. Here we have actually some good examples of the shaping of the casing stones here. Now these could have been added later. These could have been added by Cafre. These could have been added when the Valley Temple stonework made of granite was being built. But the earlier limestone structure is apparently, appears to be much older, much more megalithic, much more weathered. And so was there like a reconstruction done at the time? This is absolutely mind blowing. Look at this, black granite red granite all the way through here. Mm -hmm. 
is so amazing. Look at this one. This one's even been shaped. It's got like a circular area, whether this was done later, or whether this was part of some part, some part of the original design that was potentially reconstructed by Cafre is unclear. Tool marks all over these. This is incredible. It's on the focal point of the entire Giza plateau. That's why if, when we went to the back on the panorama, we saw that the middle pyramid was the one that looks higher than the rest. Some parts here also, as you can see, had two levels of constructed stones. So everything here is about to level the foundation. Not that the foundation underneath the pyramid itself is flat. No, the foundation underneath the pyramid is dome, which is represented in the myth of creation as the primordial mound or the mound underneath the pyramid had also uh, some kind of effect if we talk about also harnessing energy from the pyramid, magnetism or sound waves from the movement of the tectonic plates. So you can see here that the courses are all carved not constructed like courses as as the same height of this wall which is about 11 meters high in some uh, points the same amount of natural bedrock is inside the pyramid yeah these courses right here and you can see some constructed here but behind them is other uh, pieces that is part of from the same mount so the deeper you go you will see more mound. Inside this pyramid itself, the focal chamber, except for the frame A ceiling, everything is carved from the bedrock. It's not constructed. It's part of the plan. I believe that the pyramid has part that runs underneath the ground. And we will see this when we are walking on the causeway of the middle pyramid. And this is just the work on the bedrock above the ground. There is more work in the bedrock underneath the ground that we will be pointing it out. Here are the inscriptions of Ma'i from the new king at some time that he was responsible about the quarries of the king here during the new kingdom. <laughs> So this whole southeastern corner is really interesting because not only do we have bedrock here, which uh, appear to be platforms, this is carved out of the solid bedrock. You can see hieroglyphs of the various kings, but this here is actually carved out of the bedrock. So this isn't constructed, this corner. So this is fascinating. So they kind of, one corner they built a huge, almost, subterranean platform with megaliths whereas here this is actually carved out of the bedrock and there's proof of that just by the walls around the edge this is incredible and we know that this was actually the quarry for much of the Giza plateau so this is just gets amazing the more you look at this so this is like at Karahan Tepe they've actually you know they carve out of the solid bedrock there there's evidence of that now and this like continued tradition appeared to be present here when I see these kind of cut marks this really does make me question what else is going on here is this some kind of libation area like we find a Gebekli and Karahan Tepe or not there's another one over there but again this is very very interesting but this is solid bedrock this is look you can see that in the steps down here you see the way that is carved literally out of the bedrock just joins up they flattened it all out and then joined it up with the bedrock itself this whole corner this whole area it's, you know it's probably like six or seven levels are created like this there of course is the great pyramid in the distance 
So that's uh, built on a slope much like the, look at that, you just see the steps there very clearly. This is absolutely amazing. Just these cut marks again we're finding here next to this bedrock we've got shapes just carved out of the bedrock here this is incredible and look at this this is the the actual corner of the second pyramid carved out of solid bedrock so i'm blown away this has really got me actually because this is like the hypogeum kind of style we find in malta we now find it at carahan tepe All this here is bedrock. It's carved out. I'll probably go, like you can see right up to there. Potential keystone cuts here as well, which are being filled in. We're still walking on an area which appears to be bedrock, carved into, carved out of the solid ground here. And you can see that it would match the slope on the other side of the kind of walls of the quarry here much of this stone was used in the different parts possibly the valley temple possibly the sphinx temple which could suggest this is one of the oldest parts of the site and you can see how much of the pyramid would have been carved out of bedrock by the level at the top of that cliff face so if we match that here you can see that everything we can see in shot was probably carved out of the solid bedrock because it matches the levels of the walls of the quarry around it. Unbelievable how much of this is actual solid bedrock. I didn't realize how much was. This is just blowing my mind. So we're just looking inside one of the chambers and you can clearly see this is carved out of the bedrock. Look at this, look at the design, look at the skill. So this is just next, just behind the second pyramid. Look at the ceiling there. That is unbelievable. So this is like the quality of the hypogeums we kind of find in ancient Malta and also what's being discovered at Karahan Tepe now. You've got a beautiful doorway there, even on the ground. But look at that. This is amazing just to get this on film. That's blown me away. This is like classic hypogeum style. So we have another entrance going in here, like a tunnel going down deep under the Giza Plateau, just in the walls here behind the second pyramid. We saw a hypogeum structure just over there. This is remarkable. Let's keep walking. Two giant blocks. Obviously come off the pyramid or gonna be used in it. We've got another potential hypogeum here. Let's take a look here. Wow. Here is another hypogeum. Look at the beautiful cut doorway there. This is remarkable. We're looking there and we see the same kind of stuff. This is absolutely insane. So you have a whole hypogeum area <laughs> here on the Giza Plateau. Just where Yusef is now, we've actually got the remains of one of the satellite pyramids, one of the smaller pyramids. And he's pointing out where it is now. So these stones here, you see behind me, just to the kind of, uh, pretty much north of the second pyramid. This is not a mortuary temple. This is the remains of an old pyramid, like a satellite pyramid. It's even got a chamber, a slope going down into the so-called burial chamber. So these are, it's been recycled, it's been reused. There's not much left of it here, but I wanted to show you this because not many people realize this is here. But again, this is again, more evidence of carving hypogeum style into the bedrock. So this is the way in to a small satellite pyramid here. 
on the Giza Plateau with some of the larger blocks. So these are just some of the blocks that have been repurposed, quarried, used for other structures. This is insane. You can see the shape of it as you walk along here. This would have been the edge of it all the way along here going all the way around here so not very big but you know pretty big well not in comparison to that but big on it if you don't compare it to anything so we come around the next corner we've got the great pyramid in the background there absolutely mind-blowing hope you enjoyed it we've got a great group here with us and we come back every november please remember to subscribe click the bell icon become a patron support us if you can and we'll see you next time